Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 79 word search. In this problem we are given an m by n grid of characters board and a string word and we need to return a true if that word exists in the string. Else we are going to return a false. And things to keep in mind is that we can only traverse from a given cell either vertically or horizontally. And we cannot use the same uh, same cell the characters in the cell more than once so now let's see how could we solve this problem in this uh, example the given word is this a b c c e t so and the given grid is this one now in the grid to find this word first of all we need to find the first character in that grid right once we have found the first character we then look for the second character in that grid and that should be neighboring to the first character so how could we find the neighboring uh, character to the first character is by visiting either uh, in the four directions like either vertically or horizontally so vertically we uh, go uh, we either reduce the value of row by one or increase the value of row by one and to move uh, in a horizontal direction we reduce the value of column by one or uh, increased by one so in that way we could traverse to this neighbor in the vertical or horizontal direction so from a we look in all the four directions and if the value is equals to b then we know that we have found this uh, sequence so far right a b and then we try to move on to the next direction so now let's see in this example here so uh, to find the starting character we must actually traverse through each of the cells uh, to find the starting character the starting character may not always appear in the very first index which is 00, zero index of the cell so in this case it's at the 00, zero index so this becomes our starting point and then from here now we need to find the next character in the sequence right which is b so we try to traverse in the four directions so we cannot move up um, because there is no cell there we cannot move to the left as well uh, we cannot move and when we try to move to the right uh, basically there are two directions we can move in this direction and in this direction right when we move to this direction we know the next sequence next character is b but here we found an s right so that's not the character that we are looking for so we backtrack from here and then uh, we go to the next valid uh, direction so this is the next direction which we could go and the value is equals to b so we found our next sequence now from that sequence we look for the next character which is a c so from here again we try to move in this direction and in this direction and for this direction we already know it's not the value it's not equals to c so we backtrack from this one and then we move to this direction and we found our character c also from here we um, look at these two directions so um, in this direction we found our c and then so on so we try to look until and unless we have found all our sequence and when we'll know that we have found our sequence is when the uh, the length of the sequence is length of the sequence which is the total length of our this sequence is equals to the length of the word so once that is uh, the case we we know that we have found our sequence and we're gonna return a true now let's look at some other examples here <clears throat> so for this case um, we need a uh, sequence of words which has three a's so sequence of characters with three a's so um this is the given uh, grid so the first character is an a so we found our first character we traverse to the next direction valid direction which is only a so now 
we found our next character as well um, then uh, the next third character here is an a right uh, from this uh, uh, grid we know we could traverse in four directions uh, here in this direction in this direction and in this direction but when we traverse in this direction we know we have already encountered we started from this one right we actually start from this so basically we came <coughs> to this character from this character so um we are again going back to the same cell again so um but we are not allowed to do that because the same letter cell may only be used once so we are trying to use it more than once right so that is not allowed so in order to prevent that we need to mark the cell visited so what we are gonna do here is so i start from this character here right so what i do what i'm gonna do is once i start from this character and it matches the first character in the sequence of word then i mark this as visited and then i move to the next character in the sequence and then once that's also visited um i mark that uh, so that i won't be visiting that again and the third character when i try to traverse for the third character i know from this uh, i can only the only direction which i can move is this one because there is no cells to the three of the other directions but this has already been marked as visited right so now here also i cannot visit this cell so basically there is no other ways i can uh, create the sequence so i return a false my answer becomes a false here and in this case um let me just edit this whole grid so that our calculation is a lot easier so if you just um if you just look at this whole uh, grid um the sequence that we need to find is a a b so you can see that we have one sequence of a a b which is this sequence starting from here moving to this direction and then this direction so a a and b again we have another sequence which is a a and b in this direction right so we actually have two uh sequence of that same word um and basically we could have as many sequences um, there could be as many words sequences but now we need to find at least one right so we start from the first index of the grid and since b is not equals to a we move on to the next one now a is equals to a right so i um, i traverse here uh, and i mark this as visited because it's equal so i mark this as visited now from here i can move to any of these four directions right um i cannot move here so i move to any one of these three directions so i try to move in this direction and then i find that my second character in the sequence so i mark this as visited and then from here i try to move in its uh four different directions and i can the only direction that i can move is uh this direction but in this direction the next character b is not equals to a right so at that point of time uh i backtrack from here so i backtrack from here and then from here there are no other possible directions i can move so i again backtrack from here and while backtracking i mark the character as unvisited so that um i can use that again so basically you will know it in a few minutes um and then from here i i visited this i came from this direction right now i try to move on to the next direction which is this one so when i try to move the sec uh, the second character is equals to a right is this equal i mark this as visited now from here i try to move on all of its four directions but the character is not equals to the not equals to b so i can backtrack from here and from here i backtrack from to a and then from a so i backtracked 
from here to here and then again i tried i came from this direction i came back from this direction now i need to check in this direction in this direction um, the second character must be equals to a but it's a b so again i backtrack from here so for this we checked all the four directions and we found a false right we could not found the sequence so we found a false and then so what we do is now we move on to the next character in the grid to find the starting this is not a valid from if we um choose this as starting character then we could not create the sequence so now what we do is uh, we shift our starting character from this one to oops so from this one to this one so this becomes our starting character since it matches our value the first character so keeping this as a starting character we move on to the next direction and, and the next character also matches but from here when we try to move to all of the f uh, to the next possible directions we know that it's not equals to b so we then backtrack from here which returns a false and then from here which also returns a false so we have one false here <clears throat> now the next direction we could move is this one right so from here we move to this one this becomes like our second character which is equals to a and then again from here we try to move to all of its other three directions now if we had not um like we can move to this direction right but if we had not marked this as uh like unvisited after backtracking we could not have this um we will not be able to visit this so we always need to uh, mark um, once we have visited and then backtracked we need to mark as unvisited so i go here and then i backtrack again but it's, it's not equal so i go back here um and then since now i found my third character here so i return a true here from here so i return a true this true is passed on to this one so i return a true here so i have a false and i have a true i take the or of these two values and then what i get is a true so uh, finally i found my sequence and i return that um sequence i return the result so now let's start coding so when m is equals to um board length n equals to the number of columns in the board and then what we are doing here is um actually we are uh, uh traversing like we are get going deeper uh, across each of the branches of the uh, branch right so basically if we found our next character we are going deeper in that branch if we found that character we are going deeper in that branch so it's a dfs search so i'm going to create a dfs function and then what we need is the index of that uh, cell so that i can find the next four directions from that cell and then the length so that i can you know, keep track of the next char what next character should be and then again the h case which is that the length of the whole sequence should be equal to the length of the word so now we need we create our h case if length equals to the length of the word then we have found our word and we return a true uh, else what we do is we uh, see if this uh, index is a valid index or not that is if i is less than zero or i is greater than equals to m or j is less than zero or j, uh, j is greater, uh, greater than equals to n um, or also or if the character doesn't match which is also uh, an invalid case because we cannot create any sequence from that so board i j if the character doesn't match the character we are looking for which is the character next character in the board at position length then we return false 
else every condition is matched we found our next character uh, then what we do is we check in the next four directions from that position right so uh, let result our result we store our result in, in this one and we call the address from that so i traverse all the four directions plus one because now we found our position length the length was found uh, the character in that position was found now we need to find the character in the next position which is length plus one and then we do an or every time minus one comma j comma lm plus one or dfs i comma j plus one comma plus one or dfs towards minus one comma lm plus one so this is what we have done but one important thing is to mark each of the cell as visited um, before making a dfs call we need to do that so we are gonna do it here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the value of the board to some non-character value so basically uh the board and word only consists of lower case and upper case English characters, right? So we could use any special characters or any number to represent if it's visited or not. So I'm just gonna uh, use this character here. And then once each board is visited and the result has been uh, returned, uh, after backtracking, we are again gonna restore the value of that board to the value that was in the board which was equals to word that length and then we finally return our result which is stored here now to find our starting condition what we did do is we need to traverse each of the cells to find our starting position so for let i equals to zero i is less than uh, m i plus plus and then for let j equals to zero j is less than n j plus plus so we are traversing for each row each of the columns and if um okay we are not going to check any conditions here because we are already checking if the word is the length matches if it's a valid um valid index and the character matches or not so i'm just gonna call dfs from here comma j comma in then the length which here is equals to zero because i need the starting position right so i'm gonna compare the values at this index with the starting position which is at position zero so i return uh okay result equals false let it be false and then result is stored here if if we found a true the first uh, if we found any one of them which means that there the word exists so we are gonna return true because we do not need to find another sequence and if not then we return false let's run our code great try to submit cool so it's accept accepted here talking about the time complexity in this case we are doing an m times n uh, number of iterations and for the dfs call we are iterating as long as we have not found the whole length right so basically the time complexity is big o of m times n times the length of the word and the space complexity is a constant space complexity because we are not using any spaces to store anything new spaces so yeah hopefully it was helpful for you